Hello everybody. So today I want to talk about calculus. The topic today is about differential equations. So now I want to show you how to answer. So why we multiply by this one? S will multiply by this one. So I will put about B equals to this one and Q equals to this one. So we have the S. That means we need to do first the derivative of B with respect to y. So we have y and e to the power of s y. This one we can use about the product proof of the derivative. And we have like this. This one we have to white. So s and s to the power of 3, we have s to the power of 4. So we have dy. That means we need to do first the derivative of q with respect to s. So this one we have number 1. This one we can apply the product proof of the derivative. And we have like this. So we see that they are not the same. So we need to transform into exact. So we need to find about mu s. That means we need to multiply both sides by this one. So we want db over dy equals to dq over ds. So in this situation, we have like this because this is about mu s. So we need to do first the derivative of b with respect to y in here, and that's it from here. This one, we have this one from here. Multiply by mu s. Plus, we do first the derivative of mu s. So we keep the same of this one. Because that is about the product roof of the derivative. And we have like this. Now, we need to simplify both sides. So, this one and this one, they cancel because they are the same. Next, this one I will put on the left. So, we have the negative sign here. Negative 2y with negative y, so we have negative 3y. This one minus number 4, we have negative number 3. So if we look carefully about this one, we can do about factorization by s. So we put s go outside. So the second one, we can do factorization by negative number 3. And now, we divide both sides by this one. So, 
Next, we divide both sides by s and mu s. Next, we need to integral for the both sides. So the integration of this one, we have ln of the absolute value of s. This one, we have ln of the absolute value of mu s. So we have the formula in here. ln a to the power of b equals to b ln a. So a that is about the absolute value of s, b that is about negative number 3. So we need to transform this one into this one. So we can see that mu s equals to s to the power of 3. Or we can put 1 over s to the power of 3. That means we multiply both sides by 1 over s to the power of 3 going here. So if we simplify and they will have like this. So I will put about b equals to this one and q equals to this one. So we have the s that means we do first the derivative of b with respect to y. So this one we have e to the power of s y plus y s e to the power of s y then the next one we have 2 y over s to the power of 3 we have dy that means we need to do first the derivative of q with respect to s so this one we have negative 2 y over s to the power of 3 the next one we have e to the power of s y plus s y e to the power of s y and we can see that they are same so that is about exact so we need to set up about the function f s y equals to the integration so i will select about this one So, the integration of y e to the power of s y, we have e to the power of s y because first the derivative of this one that is about this one. So the integration of this one, we have positive y square over 2s square. Later that, we do first the derivative of f with respect to y. So first the derivative of this one, we have y e to the power of s y. Oh, sorry, s e to the power of s y. And the next one, if we do first the derivative of y square we have 2y number 2 divided by number 2 we cancel and we know that this one equals to this one
and now we simplify for the both sides and you got number 0 in here next we need to integral for the both sides and we have c so we go back in here and i will put c going here because the integration of this one we have gsy and we know that this one equals to fsy fsy equal to c and we can simplify like this This is the end. Thank you for watching.